Hey everybody, how's it going? And welcome back to a brand new YouTube video. Now, today's a little bit of a change from many of the things that come on these Sunday videos because it's uh, it's an unboxing. Now, I know what you may be thinking, like, those are normally the Friday videos. I know, but this one is more related towards fitness kind of ideal. So that's why I decided to make it a Sunday video. Now, what this is all about is this thing. So this is my current athletic watch. This is the Garmin VivoActive. Oh, that's not going to focus. Maybe there. Okay, so this is the original Garmin VivoActive. I have my background as the, what is it, Nike Oregon Project logo, even though it's no longer existing. I still love the logo. But today we're making that step up. So we're going from Vivo Active to Vivo Active 3. Inside the box, we have where quick start manual. I'm not gonna read that. We have oh, this is a safety and product information. I'm not gonna read that. Charging cord, a brick of foam. Yeah. I don't know. We have the watch with a sticker on it now as you can tell right off the bat there is quite a bit of a difference between the two as this one is squared the vivo active hr is squared the vivo active 3 was the first one to be put in a circular watch face design it's also more modernized because, you know, instead of being just a slick black band like that, they kind of went more for the formal watch texture, trying to make it look more like something modern so that way it doesn't stick out as much. But on the background right away, we have three icons being shown. So those icons are steps elevation and stopwatch all right let's do a quick little tour so the watch face currently is a analog clock with those three icons on it if we swipe up once we get a calendar but my phone's not connected to it at the moment so it won't show us anything a stress bar it's trying to measure, but it's not on my wrist, so it can't register it. Then we have elevation, or how many flights of stairs we've climbed. Heart rate tracker. And a unique thing about this is it shows heart rate over the past 24 hours. A music control feature. A notifications feature. A weather feature. Displaying of the last sport. A identifier of how many tense minutes we've worked out. Step counter and a calorie burn notification. Now a cool feature that is on this watch is right along this side. So you may be able to see how there is these ridges along the side here. Just get the So these ridges actually allow for a side scroll technique. Which makes it a lot easier so that way you're not constantly just sitting there and just swiping along on your wrist. Now hitting the button on the right side of the watch, since this is my first time using it, it is asking me to select my favorite activities. So I'm just going to go along, select running, treadmill running, indoor track, bike, bike indoor. What is a floor climb? Pool swim, ski, 
snowboard, cross country ski, strength, cardio, elliptical, stair stepper, row, rowing doors. Okay, done. All right. So upon doing that, it gives me a list of activities where, as you can see, it's everything that I selected, so that way it's easy access. So run, treadmill, indoor track, bike, indoor bike, swim, ski, snowboard, cross-country ski, strength, cardio, elliptical, stair-stepper, row, and row indoor, all in a nice swipe feature, but you can also use that side dial allowing you to do it a lot quicker. Hitting that side button once more returns me to the home screen, and then holding that side button gives me this kind of setting screen, so it allows me to turn the power off, connect to my Garmin Pay, find my phone. What is this one? Increase and decrease brightness. That is a decent feature that you don't see too often on these watches. You can lock it, put the phone to sleep. What is this though? Okay, you can find your elevation at your current position and find out where you are globally. That is a cool feature. You can turn your phone Bluetooth on and off. Oh, that one I may have to look into. The reason that I went with the Vivo Active 3 instead of other watches on the market because I was looking at the Forerunner 35 as well as the Forerunner 45. However, what made me choose the Vivo Active 3 was kind of the price point. Now, when I went into Best Buy to get the watch, I originally went for the Forerunner 35, which retails for $129.99 Canadian. And so I was looking at that, but I guess they sold the last one in store and I didn't really feel like waiting online because, you know, I'd rather just get it and get it over with. So I looked at the Forerunner 45, which was $189, I believe. So $60 difference, not too bad for the newer watch. It had more features on it. However, you know, that still wasn't really selling me because the one thing that I kind of was looking for was a different range of activities. Because with the Forerunners, they are more focused, or focused towards running, whereas the Vivo Active is more compact, more all-round fitness watch, allowing it to train for swimming. The one big thing that the Forerunners didn't have. And so... With my goal moving forward to train for triathlon and all that, you know, that is something that I kind of want to look forward to, is having that ability to track my swim. And so, sure, I can go back to this one and use it. However, if I can use one that tracks my heart rate while I am swimming, that will be a more useful tool, because it will allow me to try to look into zone training and figure everything out that way. So that is why I went with the Vivo Active 3. With also the Vivo Active 3 as well as other heart rate tracking watches is it allows you to look at your VO2 max and see how much your heart is actually pumping while you are exercising and kind of just be able to measure your cardiac health and cardiac efficiency a lot more. And so that's that was a big reason I wanted to trade up from the original Vivo Active just because it does not have that heart rate technology in it. It was pre, pre heart rate technology. And so I wanted to kind of trade up from this in order to get something that will allow me to train more specific as well as kind of get my stuff more together per se. Now with that all being said, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I will be doing a review on this later once I do get to use it. But I hope you guys did enjoy it. Feel free, comment down below anything you want to see, anything you want to hear, anything you want to talk about. Feel free, hit the like button, as well as to subscribe if you're new around here. But don't forget, don't party too hard. And I'll catch up with you guys again in the next video. Have a good one.